Tech TV. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing another keyboard from Ducky. It's called the G2 Pro and it replaces the older G2. It's a mechanical keyboard and it comes in a mix cherry, blue, brown, red and black switches. And if you've seen our Ducky Shine 2 video and if the price is too high, then I suggest you have a look at this product. On the front of the box you will find the G2 Pro written in a nice big font over here and on the top you'll get a sticker that tells you which switch you're getting and today we'll be using the blue switch that has been proven a popular switch in gamers and typists alike and on the back we have some specifications for example it uses interface USB 2.0 and a weight of 1.4 kgs um, it has NKRO some shortcuts as well as removable USB cable just to name a few and if you want to have a look at the other features just feel free to pause so now let's go ahead and unbox this thing In the box you will find the G2 Pro, the user manual, the cable to power the unit, as well as a bag with replaceable WASD keys and a tool to remove them. So like I said before, the Ducky G2 Pro comes in blue, black, brown and red switches. In this particular video we're going to examine one of the more popular switches, which is the blue switch. And basically we're just going to show you how to install the keys and how to remove them. So once you put it on, you can just clip it on like this with the remote with the provided tool put your finger through it and then just pull once it's off you can just put it aside and then chuck the other key on it as simple as that you know it's in place when it doesn't move this particular model utilizes a blue cherry mix switch the blue switches provide very nice tactile feedback with a click at the end of each press it requires a moderate actuation force of 50 grams and the blue switches are the loudest of all the cherry mix switches due to the tactile click. The blue switch is aimed at typists and generic workers. So bear in mind if you plan on purchasing this keyboard, think about the characteristics of the blue switches. Think about the purpose that you intend to use this keyboard for. You will also notice a LED behind WSD uh, keys. The keyboard uses a standard QWERTY layout with a standard font that is laser printed and UV coated. The plastic used for the keys is ABS, the weight is 1.4 kgs. The advantage of this for the user is that it will be really durable and it will have a hard time wearing out. On top of this, mechanical keyboards are a lot more durable than your rubber domes, so expect a long lifetime for this keyboard. The generously provided red WASD keys can be easily installed and give the keyboard a gaming look that it deserves. Like the Shine 2, it has a soft touch feel to the keys. There are seven multimedia keys on the top that provide functionality for music and videos as well as four shortcuts over here. On the back of the keyboard we have four rubber feet. There's an option to elevate the keyboard but we've found that the angle of elevation is pretty much perfect without it. It would have been good to see rubber feet on the stands but the ones at the bottom of the keyboard can compensate for that. You have an option to route the cable to the left, right or top and that is a good feature to keep the cables nice and tidy. The problem here is that it bends at the cord at 90 degrees, which bends the cable and might shorten its life, so bear that in mind. We would have liked to see an addition of a braided cable on this keyboard, but unfortunately it doesn't come with it. But that's not a problem, because the initial quality of the USB cable is really good, and it can reach anywhere around your computer. We thought it would also be cool to show you a, an accessory that comes with Ducky keyboards, and it's the Ducky wrist rest. Note that it doesn't come with the keyboards and it costs $50. The good thing about this wrist rest is that it requires no installation. It has a Ducky logo on the top here and it's made from genuine leather. To use the Ducky wrist rest you basically just place it underneath and you're ready to go. Some people may like its rigid feel while others may not enjoy it as much. After using it we actually found it to be quite comfortable, especially if you intend to be using the keyboard for prolonged periods of time and it will help you reduce the tension in the wrists. When we looked at the back of the keyboard, you might have been wondering what this little compartment is. And it turns out that these are DIP switches that help define the function of the keyboard. The switch number one exchanges the position of the left control and caps lock. The second switch allows you to exchange the position of the left alt and the left windows key. The first switches allow you to lock the windows keys altogether and finally the fourth switch allows you to switch between full N key rollover and six key rollover. The DIP switches can be useful for gamers. The Windows key can often be annoying when pressed during a game session and with the DIP switches you can simply lock it. 
This is especially useful for the gamers that don't want to be interrupted during a game session. So if you're buying this keyboard, you're obviously looking for these kind of features. And well, the G2 Pro has it. And key rollover is a feature found in many high-end keyboards. The press of each keystroke gets registered completely separately. And this means that no matter how many keystrokes you're making, they will appear on your screen correctly. Due to the USB protocol, there's a limit to 10 keys being pressed at the same time. But with the PS2 connection, there's no such limits. And this can be easily fixed with a USB to PS2 adapter that can be purchased in any technolo technology store. Appreciated by many gamers, gamer enthusiasts, this is a feature that is definitely worth having if you're serious about gaming. In terms of lighting, there aren't too many options. Keys that light up are the WSD keys, and you could do that by pressing the FN key and then holding F9, and they light up. They only have one level of brightness. You also get the caps lock key that lights up, the, the num lock, and the scroll lock. And the reason for that is probably just to lower the cost of the unit. So we're here at our computer and now we're going to test NKRO using Microsoft's ghosting demo. So we're going to press two shifts and six other keys. Yeah. That's a total of eight keys together. On standard membrane keyboards, you would not be able to accomplish this. So now we're going to do the infamous quick brown fox test. And this basically demonstrates how many keystrokes you can do at the same time. And you do this by holding the two shift keys and typing the following. On standard membrane keyboards, you wouldn't be able to type out this whole sentence. The pros and cons of this keyboard are as follows. The pros are relatively affordable, it's concealed DIP switches, lockable Windows key, and removable USB cord. The cons are it's plain design, but that's depending on your taste, badly spaced cable routing, and not fully lit. That's it. The keyboard is a small step down from the Shine 2, and it manages to retain its core high-end features while keeping the price tag relatively low. Priced at 180 New Zealand dollars, it is sure to attract the wider crowd of people who are looking out there for a mechanical keyboard. Ducky removes the backlight, but still brings it forward the great build quality on the Shine 2 meaning better value overall. So now we're going to give you our Playtech TV ratings. In terms of durability, we, get a, we give it a 9 out of 10. And the only thing that let it down is the cable. In terms of design, we give it a 7 out of 10 because it doesn't have the fully lit LED keyboard. In terms of performance, we give it a 9 out of 10 because it comes in a variety of Cherry MX switches. And in terms of value, we give it an 8 out of 10 because 180 is still a lot of money but it's pretty decent for a mechanical keyboard and you get a really good product. So this brings it to an 8.5 out of 10 for the total Playtech TV rating. So if you're out there on the market searching for a high quality mechanical keyboard that has a lower price tag, then I suggest you have a look at this product. We have all types of switches available here at Playtech New Zealand, so come in and let our friendly staff show you the product. This has been an unboxing and a quick review of the Ducky G2 Pro. Please comment, like and subscribe for more content.